I took this um, under 27 check ID. Your lot first line of defense against underage tobacco sales. 424 1997. That was when I was born. I took this paper because I remember when I was like six and we went to like gas stations and they had the whole if you were born after this date you can't make the sale. And it was like today's today's date back in like the the eighties or whatever. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I can't wait until that's my, until it says my birthday on there. And then it said my birthday on there. So I took the slip of paper, but it wasn't, it was like a, some of them are electronic, so I wouldn't have been able to have it anyway. But I was lucky to find one that was paper, calendar type shit going on. And yeah, so that was, uh, that, though that happened. That was a thing that happened in my life once. He's looking for a partner? Is he looking for a soulmate? Oh my god, this car has no control. It might be because I'm going underneath the track when I should be going on the track. Uh, What could the caution possibly be? Oh wow, what a horrifying accident. How did I survive that? It's reminiscent of the Brad Smith, or whatever his name is, from the Arca race at Talladega. That was such a wicked wreck. I don't know how either of them survived their respective crashes. I'm pretty sure the one that we just saw was ten times as horrific, though. The fact that he walked out of there okay, you know. Just a true testament to the safety of these vehicles. And, you know, all the steps that NASCAR has taken to make their racing as boring as possible. While still pandering to their sponsors somehow. To their two sponsors that show the same commercial over and over nationwide in KFC. I swear, if the Sprint Cup contract ends and it's KFC Cup, I will be quite displeased. I will most certainly have a couple of words to say on that. God, KFC is so disgusting. Like, you take a look at some of the shit that you eat at fast food places, and then you take a look at KFC, and you kind of want to go to McDonald's every day after that. Like, KFC is just fucking gross. And I love KFC. I remember when we lived in Spearfish, and we went to KFC every once in a while. No. No, we never went. We went there, like, once in Spearfish. We went there often, though, in Dickinson, however. Because that's the one with the A&W attached. Because the one in Spearfish has a Long John Silver's attached. And who cares about seafood? Well, who's fucking has a problem now? Get your ass out of here. Who cares? Who fucking has a problem now? I gotta say. Why don't you ever throw down with anyone in the back? That would be entertaining. Like, did EA ever make like a boxing game? I think EA made like an MMA sort of game once. On the PS3. I got a raise just as I threw down with this guy. People were putting bets down. And they earned so much money from those bets that they were able to give me a raise. So that's pretty cool. People were putting down like six figure bets on who was going to win. $100,000 on the guy from India. The big India guy, who's apparently a country singer who has a lot of singles. What the hell does Keith Urban even play? I'm thinking of all like like Dirks Bentley singles right now, like Sideways. And did Keith Urban do "I Want to Kiss a Girl" or was that Dirks Bentley as well? Mm. Was Keith Urban the one that did "Old, old Red"? I liked that when I was like ten. I remember we went to my uncle's home for Thanksgiving, and um, 
And that was the song that I listened to all the way up and all the way back. Because I liked it that much. And you know, it's got a good beat to it. Come on, somebody, why don't you run? Old Red's itching to have a little fun. Get my lantern, get my gun. Can you stop hitting them for one fucking second? Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty... Oh my god! Stop hitting them! He was just about to run right the fuck into the 60. Oh, he did run right the fuck into the 60. What a surprise. Stop oh, right into my teammate. So much for that, team... Up, oh, right into whoever the hell is in front of me. Up, oh, yep, guy on my apron. Up, oh, yep, that guy. Up, oh, gonna hit JJ Yaley, gonna be. Not like I like him or anything. I always get pissed off when I see in the Nationwide series them praising JJ Yaley, and I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck JJ Yaley. On the topic, Alex Bowman got a good finish. That's a first. Took him long enough. Daytona was just a miserable, miserable race. And then come Talladega comes around and gets a 14th. And you know, a 14th at Talladega is like a 40th. But still, you'll get some money. You'll get a little bit of money, you know. Nope, yep, right in true X, who I like. So, so much for that allyship, of course. Nope, but he's still there, so I don't even get a position out of it. Losing all that allyship, and I don't even get the position. What the fuck is the point of even living? What is the point of even being a race car driver? Didn't I pass this guy like 20 laps ago? Like all the way back at the start of the race. I'm still only in 10. Stewart's all the fucking way up there, as always. I feel like Burton should be blocking, but he's not. And I keep getting loose out of the corner, so I lose all the speed that I get, and I can't pass anyone. And Stewart's losing all these positions. If I could get in front of these assholes, I'd be able to make up some ground on him. And old Red was headed south. And the warden saying, come on, somebody, why don't you run? Old Red's itching, have a little fun. Get my lantern, get my gun. Red will have you tree when the morning comes. Fuck you, I got fifth. You son of a... I can't even look at the goddamn... I can't do anything without this race. This goddamn fucking game making the decision for me. Fuck you. It said I was only one spot ahead of Stuart. I was in ahead of a good motherfucking piece of shit. This goddamn son of a bitch, piece of shit, piece of fucking shit game. What an ass. What a- Go the fuck down, you bitch. You sack of shit. Fuck you, I got fruit. 